as I said, was very clear from, from the first time I started playing this game. I'm not going to allow anyone to, to think that I'm just a pushover on the field. But the next time I'm going to be here again. So make sure that you bring your A game. And that's, that's the mindset that I try and get into invariably. If you show them any vulnerability or fears, they're going to eat you up. So for me, I just have to be as fearless as I can. I called uh, Sachin Tandulkar, I asked for his help. I said, see, I, I want to get my game right. I want to understand what it's like to score runs at this level. My mindset was simple. I went back home, I told myself, listen, you can't play test cricket to show people that you can play in England and play in Australia and not get out. And if you don't score, it's, it's no point. You play this game to, ma game to make your team win. So my mindset was, I'm going to go to Australia and how am I going to score runs against these guys? I have I have already uh, achieved what I wanted to as a leader, which is to create an environment and a culture where people strive for excellence every day. And when I see us practicing now, every session that we play, no one's wasting their time on the field. That for me is, is so, so important because I would rather have an hour of quality practice and I've done everything that I had to do rather than Lurking around for two hours, two and a half hours, you know, fooling around for an hour in between. The one consistent thing in my journey as a cricketer has always been, how can I make my team win from here? That's the only question that I have in my in my mind. He's gone through the shot and will clear the boundary. If you, if you told me I had to walk away from this game tomorrow, I can walk away with, without any regrets. Because everything that I've done since I entered the Indian cricket team has always been for the team. Has always been from the point of view, how can I improve this environment that I'm a part of? The reason why I reach out to these guys is because I don't want them, them to waste probably months and, and years of my life that I wasted as a youngster still trying to figure things out. When I found out the formula for success and what it means to compete at this level, I want these guys to pick it up early so that the transition with Indian cricket can be very smooth. It should not take youngsters two and three years after the seniors are gone to build the team again. So I want them up to speed immediately when we are you know, almost about to step out and Indian cricket stays on top. So my mindset has always been, how can I get these guys match ready? How can I get these guys into a space where it doesn't matter whether the guy bowling or, or running into bowl has got 130, 140 test matches and you've got four. If you have more belief in, uh, belief in yourself than him on the day, you can out, outplay him. And along you know, my early days in my career as well, there have been a lot of people who have doubted um, the way I've gone about my game. Even now, there are doubters and haters all around. But um, one thing is for sure that I've always believed in myself. I've always believed in my heart that if I work hard 120% every day of my life, I'm non able to no one. And I think the reason I thank my teammates is because they bought into it and we all play with that kind of attitude. We don't care about what happens outside that change. Room. And when you have men with the hands like Virat Kohli, it's all just too easy. Genius on his back, genius with the bat. There always have been two options uh, for me. Either it's fight or flight, and I've never taken fight flight. Fight or flight. I've never taken flight. For me, that's just, that's just not a... Because, I, look, I can take flight. If I, if I can't sleep peacefully at night, I, for me, it's not worth it. I might as well take the fight. If I fail, I know that I took the right option. Um, and that gives me peace. For me, when I leave the field, as I just said, I need to be able to know that I've given everything I had and I sleep like a baby. There is nothing else that can that can distract me then because in my potential as a human being, God has blessed me with a healthy mind, healthy body, an opportunity which you know everyone wants. So I have to be honest to that. I have to live up to that. So for me, these things are just a just a process, uh, just a part of the process, which is you keep moving forward. You keep taking the positive option. Whether you get success or not, that's irrelevant, but never take a backward step. For me, a game of cricket is about making your team win. Um, I can very well enjoy the process of batting in nets. I can very well, very well smile and have fun and, you know, fun in games. But when you mean business, you mean business. Um, in life, I, I don't have to compete with anyone. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not in a space in, in everyday life where I, I have to be feisty or aggressive. But for me, one thing was always and always very clear. When I step onto the field, I'm going to give 120% every game that I play. Um, and one thing for a fact that no one can, can count that against me. Um, till the time I play this game, I am going to play this way. And this is who I am. And if, if my mindset in the field is simple, I will not stand around wanting, to, wanting people to do something that I'm not able to do first. 
Um, for me, every ball is an event. I'll throw myself around every ball of the whole test match. Whether it's the 90th over of, of the fifth day, I'll still throw myself around because for me, every moment is an opportunity to make your team win. And that is exactly why you step onto the field. You have to make that time count. Our careers are so, so short anyway, even if you play for 20 years. After that, you can't play the game. So when you are on the field, you absolutely make most of it. And I let things flow.